Scouter Stan here. I want to talk to you about one thing that's very dear to me, and that's den chiefs. Den chiefs are a unique connection with a scout to a Cub Scout den. They are in between the two, okay? A lot of dens need that older youth there to help them transition over to a troop. Usually it's the arrow of lights or the, the, the weeblows, or the second part of the weeblows known as the arrow of light. They go from, they need that exposure to the older um, scout so that they can move on. Um, there's training that's involved. Uh, I have trained probably if hundreds, maybe even thousands of den chiefs. And uh, when I do that type of training, um, it has recently been updated. Uh, but when I do that training, one of the things I, I start the entire program off with is I tell the, the youth that all of this training is so important. But one of the most important things to remember is that they are not to become an older Cub Scout. The den leader does not need that type of help. They need real leadership. And that's one of the things I train when I, when I do teach uh, den chiefs. I talk to them heart to heart and I say, look, you, you're in a leadership role. You need to step up and do the things that the den leader wants you to do. So hopefully, den leaders out there that are listening, um, you will see this. And, and I train them that way. And I think every everybody that goes through the the uh, training modules, uh, the new system right now, there's three modules. Uh, the first module is the, the role, what they're responsible for, and um, uh, understanding the people that they're going to be leading, the Cub Scouts. So that's the first module, and we talk a lot about that. And then we get into den meetings, okay, and how the den meeting is constructed. There's an actual structure to this. As a den leader, you know this. So I instruct den chiefs on how that structure works and how they're a part of it. Uh, then finally, to put it all together, I want them to know how to do activities, okay? Lead a song, run a game. These are the things that a den chief can help with. And as a den leader, if you have a den chief, you should go to this training uh, when it's given in your district uh, or your council. Uh, very important that you get involved in that training so that you're there too and you know what they're responsible for and you know how you can put them into the program so that they can be more of a vital role in a leadership role that that's what this is it's a leadership role so that they can be used for that purpose so that the program continues on and they learn lots of stuff now they're going to have fun okay that's true they are going to have fun and they're going to have fun running games and being the referee and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so that's that being the case. What, Scoutmasters, okay? Now, I've been talking to den leaders, but Scoutmasters, please consider the maturity level of the youth that you assigned to be a den chief. Okay? Very important. They should be mature enough to handle the additional responsibility that comes with being a den chief. Now, as a den chief, you've not only got your troop meetings and your campouts and all of the things that you do during the week, but as a den chief, you have an additional meeting every week. Uh, three times it's with the den, one time it's with the, uh, the actual pack. That's all the dens. And the training will cover that, but you need somebody that's mature that's going to handle this. And let me tell you something else. Scoutmasters, guess what a den chief does? They recruit for your troop, okay? They're there to be that role model 
that leader that in brings those youth to where? Not to the other's troop. Their troop. Your troop. From your troop, you have the den leader in your troop that works with the den. They're going to go from there to your troop. Now, as a scoutmaster, you may want to say, okay, well, your role of, of recruiting these 20 kids across the bridge and into our troop, you're going to be the troop guide, okay, of that new first year emphasis patrol okay so that's something that you can take a den leader uh, excuse me a den guy a den chief and as they go through that then they could become a guide for that patrol in your troop so that's something to think about it's a great way to recruit and you should always be pulling in from cub scouts recruits okay just a constant flow of new youth coming into a troop will make it more healthy uh, that's true for cub scouts it's true for boy scouts and it's true for crews and all of them they need that flow of youth going into their unit to make them healthy so something to consider something to really seriously think about um, and especially the maturity level. So those are very important parts. Den Chiefs are a wonderful, wonderful addition to a pack. It's a wonderful addition to a den. And it's a wonderful addition uh, to have that kind of youth leadership in a troop. And the leadership role is actually, in, after first class, you can actually use that leadership experience towards rank advancement. So something to think about. All right, well, keep up the great leading, and I will see you on the trail.